Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today I have a quick catch and cook for you guys. Um, I also wanted to give you a little van build update as well. So after the catch and cook, if you want to stick around, I can show you what we've been doing on the van and I'll give you a little rundown of so far uh, everything we've done. So I went on a quick halibut trip with uh, my buddy Zico in San Francisco Bay. Uh, Zico and his buddies and thanks to Ryan, shout out to him for taking me on his boat. Uh, but we caught a few halibut and we did a little catch and cook on the boat. So check that out first and come back, tell you about all about the van. You some fish? Oh, oh that's, oh, that's oh, a key borderline. He's borderline. Yeah. There we go, Zico first with the first the keeper. 22 inches. <laughs> Just over keeper size. A keeper is a keeper, man. Keeper is a keeper. Oh, he's like 25. 25? Yeah, That's 25 good, man. Yeah, 25 and a half. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. 25 and a half, yep. Right. Log keeper. <laughs> when I was with uh, my ex, dude, she would put the videos on at night. I'd be like, I can't watch this. I'm going to get so hungry. Yeah. Go down to the fridge and start eating shit. Yeah. yeah. Gotta see how hungry I get when I'm editing. Oh man. <laughs> Gotta watch well, at least you have like the skills to like, do something about it. <laughs> I was just like, well, <laughs> pull the hot pocket out. <laughs> Hella sad, put it in the microwave. <laughs> Watching some like sushi. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, hey, hot pockets are pretty damn good. Yeah, right? I love hot pockets. <laughs> cool. Well, we got two keepers on deck 22 and a 25 and a half. All right, now we're gonna grill some halibut. I got a fillet first, so let's get that going. Can I get a halibut? Look at that liver. Oh man, you really harvest liver. that, huh? It's good, huh? Oh yeah. We're gonna grill this up. It's crazy. Halibut liver is very good, so we can definitely take that. We don't really want the gallbladder. We're gonna take the stomach too. That's the gallbladder. This is like intestines. We'll throw that out. Let's check the stomach, see what's in here. That is a fish. Some kind of fish, digested. Little choppy, little windy, but we're gonna get this done. And I'm gonna keep the head on to keep the tail on because uh, just in case, you know, fishing game stops us, then we can still measure it up. Watch your hand, watch your hand. And right here, I just like to peel away, peel it, scrape against the bones. Look at that just comes off. Like that's 98% of the meat right there. I mean, I, I'm just surprised you can deal with a rigid knife because I use a plenty knife and it's way easier. But maybe I think it's a little bit of a challenge with a rocking bow. It's all right. <laughs> it 
it's a small halibut, but it might have a little bit of cheek meat. So we just go around here. And just should be able to kind of pull it off. Oh wow. Oh wow. Little medallions. That's a, that's a decent yield. see what we got here we got the cheek meat skewers we got the stomach right here and we got liver as well and we got skin oh this is skin and angawa together and this is just angawa and this is oh my god look at that <laughs> look at the array of skewers we got from one halibut I got my Ryu that sauce that you always talking about? Yeah. What's it called again? Ryu. Ryu, yeah. Oh, right here. Who wants to try a little Angawa? Oh, oh yes. god, yes, damn. Please. A little tiny piece. My favorite. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Try a little Angawa. That flavor is from the season. It's like nice, because... medium, rare. Woo! That's tender. Use that, that spicy spike oil. When yeah. I eat angawa, it doesn't taste like that. <laughs> the texture should be pretty good. Goodness Woo! gracious, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> good. Bro. There you go. That's the filet. That looks pretty good. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Check this rod. watching this I'm like I wonder if it's good as it actually like he look makes it look you know like he's it, like oh yeah that's so good all the people that wonder if this is actually as good as it makes the team 100 percent is <laughs> that good and maybe better <laughs> hell of it's good man I'm telling you it's all good I never thought so yeah, not so thick <laughs> oh that liver this is great okay no, what's stomach that? all right we got there's four cheeks in here. Oh, oh, you, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys go you guys. ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Ryan, damn. Ryan, you're getting one. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if I eat that, I'm never going to want to eat the Ryan, fish ever again. Uh, you know? Ryan, you're getting one. <laughs> it's turned out, I thought we were going to fight for it, but everybody's just being too generous. <laughs> no, you, no, you. All right, I'll take for the team. I'll take all four. <laughs> <laughs> that should be This is the cheek. The cheek. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. It just melts. Oh my fing god. <laughs> it just melts. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> the texture. Oh, the man. texture of the cheek. Oh man. On a skewer is yeah. crazy. Alright, now I have two livers. That. I want a little bit of liver. I like that rich like irony stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah like the gamey. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Damn, so let's just wrestle for it then. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have All a right. duel. All One right. way. Yeah, then that's not even All right, liver. Oh my goodness, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's like it's like the monkfish liver, except you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's so rich. Yeah. Hella rich, yeah. No, halibut liver is is great. I One of the best livers from fish. Here's the stomach lining. Let's see how that tastes. Anybody else want to try this stomach? You guys still working on that? Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. Wow. Oh. Oh, shoot. This is like bacon. It is. <laughs> wow. Or it's like a, like a fatty pork belly. Mm -hmm. A super fatty pork belly. those pieces that you've been throwing away all this time are some of the best pieces. 
So that was basically our day on the water. Great time. And we actually ended up catching one more keeper halibut after that as well. Um, so I've been mainly busy working on this van, but uh, I've still been going out here and there so I can keep making this catch and cook content for you guys. I know this catch and cook wasn't the best quality uh, video, so apologies for that. But as soon as this van builds over, don't worry, I'm going to be back on it more content than ever and with high quality so apologies uh, in the meantime sorry about that um but yeah we've been really busy here doing the van so let me tell you what we've been doing so far what we have done so far so the first thing we did in this van was the subfloor insulation so we took off we took off the original floor and we put some two by twos in there and we made this insulation by the way, if you guys want to see more thorough videos of the van build updates, make sure to check out our second channel. It's called Tackling the World. So Jocelyn and I have been posting on there uh, every week about the van build and more in depth as well. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. I also put in some holes in the van. As you can see, I have a fan here and also a fan in the back there and as well as a window. Okay, here we go. Let's fit this thing. Some boba coming up. Bits. <laughs> so behind these walls and the ceiling, we insulated with 3M Thinsulate. Uh, that was a pretty easy process. And after that, we started getting the panels in and we ran a bunch of wires throughout the van there was just like dangling everywhere. And then we were able to put in these, uh, these ship laps and that make our wall and also our ceiling as well. Keep in mind, Jocelyn and I are first time van builders. I've never done this before. I've never done anything like this. The only thing I've done in the past, make a couple tables. I made a planter box for Jocelyn and that's about it. So that's the, the extent of my experience. But so far it's been going very, very well. Surprisingly, I have not had any major issues as of yet. We also put in this shelf right here, two levels. Uh, before this, there was nothing here. And this is gonna provide a lot more storage. You can see that, the top shelf, and we have another shelf. That's gonna provide a ton of extra storage in the van. Uh, she put all this, this carpet material uh, all in the wood as well. And it looks really, really nice. And let's see what, what else we've done. So we framed uh, the window and we're gonna have a little shelf here. That's why the frame goes a little lower than the window. And she put these uh, tiles in as well. These are just like stick on tiles. And right now it has like the, the protective layer on there. But as soon as that, take, that comes off, I think it'll look perfect. If we head outside, you can see that we also put in this ladder. We also put in this roof rack. So we put this roof rack up here knowing that we had these fans, but it clears the fans so we can still utilize both fans um, perfectly. Soon we'll put some solar panels there and we'll have a deck here as well. So that'll be really a lot of space for us to have fun. All right, if we go back inside. Currently I've been working on this electrical system right here and I've had to do so much research because I knew nothing about electrical before. So far, I think I'm doing it all correctly. Uh, it's not all fully in yet, but here it is for now. 3000 watt inverter. I got this Lynx distributor, which are like the bus bars, uh, solar charge controller, uh, this on and off switch thing. I have the fuse, 400 amp hours of lithium, battle born batteries. These batteries alone cost more than my car. Seriously, it costs more than my Subaru. Um, so yeah, it's been a huge, investment to say the least so far and i have my dc panel down in there as well i think the next thing is going to be to put in some cabinets and also put in our bed then we can start taking out the van once we have our bed in we can even though if it's not fully finished we can start taking it places and if you notice i have not finished the walls on this side and that's because i want to get that electrical system 100% complete before I panel it up. 
yeah and that's about it guys oh yeah this swivel seat too right here you see that oh yeah swivel seat that's gonna open up the state space a lot so we can have more more living space i suppose so far this entire process of building the van has been so much fun i've been thoroughly enjoying it and it's been joss and i doing the whole entire thing uh, the only thing i'd help with was the roof rack the installation of that because that's a little heavy so i had my buddy danny come over and help me with that other than that you know everything we're doing it's all us but we'll probably get some help for the electrical just to make sure it's all all perfect um and you know there's no issues with that because that could cause some serious serious damage if it's not properly done but yeah that's about it guys that's our van build update for you so jocelyn's been editing all of the van build updates for our second channel so make sure to check that out and uh yeah we've been posting weekly because we've been getting 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 a lot of stuff done so far and starting to come together i think thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate all your support because this is what we're doing now it's amazing so thanks guys see you next time peace